Today, <clears throat> we have Roy. Let's get this guy out of the way. Boom, boom. There we go. I'll do our drawings. Okay. All right. Roy he is one of our Fire Emblem characters. One that uh, I was not actually very familiar with. If you uh, watched my other videos, you'll know that I uh, I played Radiant Dawn. That was my my exposure to Fire Emblem, and uh, I loved that game. And I really wish there was some way for us to play that game. Um, it's unfortunate that there's no um, <clears throat> there's no solution, right? That Nintendo doesn't sell it. And they're, you know, they've cracked down on emulators and all those sorts of things, which makes sense, right? It's Nintendo's games. But uh, they should just sell that stuff. I don't understand what uh, what Nintendo's waiting on. Uh, it seems like there is a... Um, I, I mean, I, I would have guessed, I guess, that, that by now <clears throat> they would have come up with uh, some way to incorporate that stuff because obviously people want it and people like uh, those games. And uh, at this point, I'm not even talking about, I mean, Fire Emblem is part of it, but any Nintendo game, right? Like there's a lot of GameCube games, for instance, that uh, people really want. And, uh, and so it's funny that uh, there's no real way to to access those i would i would purchase it and uh seems like easy money but uh, maybe nintendo's too busy with other things they can't see why they would be but <laughs> you know what teach their own i also think you know what, what's interesting is um so Reggie recently, uh, president of Nintendo in America, he came out and he had a, a comment that, uh, you know, it's taken so much time to, uh, oh, that's, that's odd, um, taking so much time to he had to optimize things for the Switch, the NES games for the Switch. Um, and that, that seems excessive to me. It's the NES that doesn't seem like it requires any optimization really. Um, and I wonder if part of the problem is that they were trying to add in gimmicky, like online play and two player, whatever. And I don't know if anyone cares about that. Right. So it's, it's just kind of funny that. You know, they just bring the game and then you can worry about making it two player and whatever. I, I don't understand why the, what all the hoopla is about. Just give us the dang game. I don't care if it's got online two player. I'm not going to play the ice climbers with anyone online. I promise. So maybe it's a bigger thing in, in Japan and having it two player online is a really cool thing. And you know, all that, but I just don't get it. I don't get it. I've, I'm realizing my Roy is, he is a tank. He's a big boy. But this Roy is a little bit more nimble and, uh, A little, but we're going to make tanky Roy today, I guess. It's going to be our approach. Also, I just got to say, man, this is way better than Illustrator, than Photoshop, than anything else. It has been really, really great. Again, I'll be doing a, a review on, on this. Um, Unsketchable. Uh, 
pretty soon, but I gotta get all of the Smash Brothers characters done first. I got a lot of characters still to draw. It is amazing to me how I have done I've drawn a lot of characters and yet I'm still so far he's wearing football pads or something he's a it's a Yeah, I was doing the math. I mean, I, I think I'm almost at 30 characters that I've drawn, which is a lot of characters, you know, and uh, I still have 40 more. I'm not even halfway through. The game comes out in 19 days. So uh, there's going to be, you'll notice, uh, at least a couple days where I'm going to be posting a lot and I may get to a point where I start posting two or three in a day because I need to pick up the pace doing one a day has been uh, has been good um, but just not fast enough and now with this new uh, setup of drawing it kind of makes it a little faster and so I'm hopeful that that will um, pay off here and uh, help me be a little bit faster. He's got like a, yeah, it really gave him a football player sort of thing here, which is kind of funny. It's crazy to me that, uh, so Roy has Krom as an Echo Fighter, and uh, which you know will be drawn tomorrow or whatever. Um, but uh, what's it's crazy to me is you know it makes me think about uh, how Nintendo introduced this whole idea of an Echo Fighter, and um, really there aren't that many of them. So it was interesting that they introduced a whole genre of characters and uh, there's not that many but it did um, make for kind of more fun reveals because people were actually looking forward to them which is cool I found that a lot of these characters have the same finger formation you would I think after all this time, I would figure out how to do it, but uh, I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. I do. So hopefully that's uh, you know, a good sign. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I think it's uh, starting to starting to come together here a little bit. Does have a hilt here. These are like birds, like a bird wings, it kind of feels like. 
for here. Well, bam, like so. There's a little divot here. Okay. Oh, this is his key. Up. That's what's what this is. There, there we got it. Feels good to me. There we go. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a new layer here. We'll go into here and I've got a darker, got a darker line being made. We'll come right in to the face. Ooh, that is a little too thick. Okay. All right, we go. Give him some nice hair. Roy's got a pretty nice part. And I must, I just, oh. Sketch will so much better. The little, the little things really make a big difference here. Like before, I'd have to use two fingers to move anything. And when I did, uh, sometimes I would accidentally make a mark on the screen. And that was annoying, right? Like, 
I didn't want to make a mark there. I just wanted to just wanted to move the screen and and there was nothing I could do um, to really stop it. So I, it just happened now and again and just kind of annoying. But now just a single finger will do it. And uh, that's pretty cool to me. All right, and I'll come around like so. Okay. I found I made these guiding lines a little too dark, I think. So now it's a little bit um, hard to tell <laughs> which layer I'm on. I should do Maybe I should do my guiding lines in like a green color or something like it. It's like literally a different pencil color. That might actually help a lot because then it would be really easy to tell which is which. Maybe I'll do that on my next one on Chrom. I'll give it a different color. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm finding this a little bit challenging. That was not the right angle at all. Not at all. All right, well, bam, well, bam, well, bam. We'll give him some finger cutoffs there because all the cool kids are doing that. Okay, boom. Wearing finger cutoffs, I mean. All right, and then this comes down here. Hmm. The angle of that hand is unfortunately not great. Needs to come a little bit further. <laughs> there. It's got to go around it. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Okay. Come around there and there. There and there. Oof. These long straight lines can be kind of rough. It's hard to keep it perfectly level, you know? I may need to fix some of this when I hide that layer. Uh, 
some over here. Okay. Click up down there. Let's say this is our sheath. And we add some cape. All right. Feel pretty good about that. Let's go ahead and give him, let's hide that sketch layer. I don't know why it does that. Um, but I guess. Okay, there we go. Got to figure out why it creates that those extra sketches for some reason. I just don't, I don't get it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. Okay.
there we go. And this. That line down there shouldn't exist, but there is Roy. <clears throat> so, uh, score for Roy. Um, he, again, as you can see in the top left there, fighter number 25. Um, I like him. I like how he turned out. I am happy that uh, this sketching program is becoming a lot easier than... Uh, it's a, it's a lot easier of a program uh, than my other one. So it's allowing me to do better art, which I'm uh, happy about. So um, I'm going to give Roy here a solid uh, 7 out of 10. Um, I think he, um, you know, I got my form right. Um, so he is kind of lunging forward and, and that's cool. Um, however, he still feels a little too big to me, right? So he's kind of kind of bulky and kind of um, that wasn't good. Kind of bulky and and like football player looking, right? And uh, Roy is not actually that way, um, so that wasn't kind of my favorite. But overall, seven out of ten. I think he's pretty awesome. I think it turned out really great. Hope you enjoy next time when I draw Crumb. <laughs>